This is our first look at this SOG Visionary 1. Uh, this is a folding knife with the arc lock system. Very easy to open, very secure once it's open. Very easy and very safe to close very quickly. Uh, it can be used with either hand very easily again to close. So it makes a great utility knife as well as a tactical knife. Um, just some of the specifics about this one. It's seven inches long overall. The blade alone is about three inches. Only weighs in at 2.8 ounces with the clip. Uh, comes in a simple cardboard box from SOG. It's got their information on it. And then they've got a bit of a catalog here with some information on some of the other models and knives that they offer and some of the multi-tools. But not a lot of extra garbage, not a lot, you know, you're paying for a knife here, you're not paying for a bunch of packaging. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, it's made out of a VG10 steel. Uh, it's got the Zytel uh, handles with stainless steel liners. Um, I've been partial to the aluminum handled uh, knives lately and this one really feels like an aluminum handle. It's not quite as heavy, it's definitely lightweight, but it is uh, substantial. It's not like some of the polymer knives where they're um, so lightweight in the handle that they're not balanced well. See this one's balanced just in front of the SOG logo there, uh, pretty much right where your finger would be when you're doing you know, cutting or tasks. So right where your finger is going to grasp the knife, it's pretty much balanced right there, just a little bit blade heavy from right there. Uh, the blade shape is an interesting one. It's got just a bit of a curve here, which I th I'm assuming is going to make a very good cutter. The blade tip is the only thing that on my first impression it's definitely great for a fighting knife and for a uh, tactical use, but I think it might be a little bit too narrow for utilitarian use, but we'll definitely find out. It, it is VG10 steel, so um, that should allow it to have a bit of a sharper tip there without getting damage. Um, it's got a powder coat finish over the steel which uh, gives it a real nice matte finish and the SOG logo and the visionary really aren't that large so they're not real uh, annoying. I'm not a big fan of having things written all over my my gear and while this is there to you know because they're proud of their knife it's not so huge that it's the first thing you see when you pick up their knife. Um, so far, really impressed with it. The pocket clip is substantial. Spring steel, high quality. Looks like it's, again, designed well. Obviously, SOG's been building knives for a long time, so they know what they're doing. If you wanted it, right now it's for the right hand, if you wanted it on the left side, real easy to just take a small screwdriver and open it up. It's just a Phillips screw. And the clip can come out. You can just leave the clip out. The pocket clip isn't necessary for the operation of the knife. So that's nice. Sometimes I've seen knives where when you take it out, you're, you've you know opened up the knife a bit. Um, it has a hole for a, a loop or a piece of 550. But once you remove the belt clip, you could easily put some, another uh, piece of cord through there if that was your preference. Okay, so if you want to put it together for left-handed carry, there's uh, you just flip it around and insert it. There's a bit of a wedge shape here, so that once you've got it installed, it doesn't. There's not a lot of wiggle room, and then you just use the same screw, it goes back in, and it tightens up real quick. It uses a Phillips screwdriver, which is nice. While the rest of the knife is Allen uh, bolts, this one's a Phillips, so it's you know with most multi tools you're going to be able to tighten this if it's necessary. Um, not that I would think it's necessary. Like I say, there's there's not a lot of wiggle room on that clip. It's there to stay. So now it's set up for left-handed use, and again, very easy to use one-handed. Um, there's no springs or you know auto assist or uh, you know switch blade or anything, so it's not a uh, regulated knife that I'm aware of. Um, you can pretty much probably have this one anywhere. And that uh, arc lock really would lend itself to being quick to deploy and quick to stow. It's also got a thumb uh, stud on both sides of the blade. So if you're partial to that type of opening, it's you can do that as well. In fact, it's balanced pretty well. If you just kind of hold it here in the center, 
you can just flip the blade out of there with centrifugal force. Um, and that's like most polymer, you know, most knives that have polymer handles um, with most of their weight up front, you're able to do that with. Uh, but again, the nice thing about the arc lock is that it does come back and let you close the knife very quickly and stow it without uh, the use of two hands or even putting your fingers in front of the path of the blade. So far, um, we, our first impressions are very high. We like this one. Uh, pretty much we're going to be fighting about who's going to be carrying this one first. I think uh, we'll have to draw straws on this one. Like I say, it's about a medium size. Seems to fit well. Um, I'm partial to having little loops of 550 on my knives, so I'm glad to see I can do that and have the belt clip. So uh, again, the visionary one from SOG. And if you wanted to buy one, they're available on their website. For, like I say, right around $140.